When you go to Carl's Jr., what do you eat? Chicken slice and fries. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, what, do you, what do you think? They have actually a, a fried cheeseburger called the BFC. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. You think we should try it out? Yeah. Are you going to eat some? No. Why not? I like chicken slice and fries. Oh, you're one of those, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to go to Carl's and try this out, okay? okay. Let's see what it's all about. Welcome folks, thanks for coming back to my channel. It is your boy, the Big Dog, Rick Dog, and you are watching Rick Dog Reviews. Now, first and foremost, I would like to say thanks to everyone for the last video. It's been actually doing very well. It's actually been my best uh, performing video as of like four or five days that I've ever had. So once again, thank you for that. And today, what we are gonna be Testing out is from my favorite spot, Carlos Jr. Number one spot in the biz, I would like to say. Uh, maybe a rankings video, I'll be doing that in a later time. Um, but today, we are gonna be trying the BFC. I think that's what they call it, right? BFC, the big fried cheese. They are frying cheese now, folks. Last week I tried fried chicken, this week I am trying fried cheese. Ooh, okay, let's see what great thing about it, it is an Angus burger, so you know they make the Angus a little bit um better supposedly. It's a little bit bigger of a meat, so you don't have to get like a double like you do with a normal beef. Um so what we're gonna do now is I have it open. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a little cut. We're gonna check out the inside and see how fried this cheese actually is, alright? Burger guys. It looks like a big onion ring. It's not a bad thing, but as I was opening this guy, this sauce, it's like a very uh, spicy sauce, which uh, I'm not mad about it. It's like special sauce. It's like special sauce, Junior likes to say. Good. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to put it, Papa. That's how, I say, that's how Ryan says it? That's how Ryan says it? Yeah. Mm. Well, let's cut this guy open through the middle and see what we are dealing with. So... Let's see. Of course, you wouldn't have a Carl Jr. burger if it doesn't fall apart. Again, not a bad thing, but here it is. There is the cheese. Not bad. I thought it would look even a little bit worse. I thought it would... Um, I was thinking it was going to be like nacho cheese. But, you know, where the cheese kind of melted through. But no, it's... Staying pretty good. All right, well now we're gonna try, and then you know the burger, like I said, it's a pretty big patty. They got your veggies in there, the bread. It is not the regular uh, bread that they always use, but it's still a really good, still pretty good. So now we're gonna actually do a taste test and see what we're up against, all right? Let's see how this bad boy tastes. They promote it all the time. And it's one of those uh, one of those burgers that when you actually get to the drive through, you know, you get in the loudspeaker super low. No, oh, don't you want to try to be a seat And you're like, ah, uh, no. And then they're like, order when you're ready. Like in this low, lowest voice ever. Um, so let's see what all this hype, the hype train is about. Let's hope I don't uh, try to barf like I did last week with the uh, with the uh, Kentucky Fried uh, Chicken Sandwich. Ugh. Oh, yeah. You know, I felt like I was gonna get a double, but I felt like the cheese part was gonna be too, uh, it's gonna be enough, like, as a second patty, so that's why I kind of went with the single one. They got it to triple if you wanted to try it out. It's very good. The, um, the spicy sauce, the secret sauce, like Junior likes to call it, um, is actually um, complements the sandwich a whole lot better than just like say adding ketchup onto it. It's actually a very good, uh, very good burger. Doesn't fall apart like say the Superstar did. 
And that, like I said, that bread, I'm glad they didn't use regular bread because this bread actually makes it like that much better. Um, I know it's weird for me to say that, but it, it, it does. Um, all of this is a little messy because like all the sauce is kind of watery, but that's all right. You gotta wash your hands after you eat anyway, right? Out of a uh, rating of a 10, I'll give this one a solid eight. Just the messiness part was a little bad, but that's about it. Great tasting burger, two thumbs up from Rick Dog Reviews. And if you don't like it, you can get out of here, all right? It's actually very good. I'm glad I actually bought this guy. Will it be my go-to? No, it's still the big Carl at Carl's Jr. I still love that, but it's still very good. It's like, if you want to try out something different, try the BFC. It won't be a bad idea. And with that, all right, guys, and on that note, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch all my other videos, go ahead and like, hit the subscribe button. And I'm sure there's a little window that says, like, you may also like. So, you know, watch all those, too. Um, and don't forget to all to share my stuff on Facebook, on Twitter, on IG. And I love the support you guys are giving me uh, all over social media. And I love the support that I'm getting on my videos for views. Uh, but we can still go higher. This is not the st this is not the end. This is the start. So we can if we can get up here, we're down here. If we can get up here, then that would be dope. All right. One day I would like to be on ESPN First Take talking about food and then telling Stephen A to kick rocks because I think Jimmy Garoppolo is the best quarterback in the NFL. That's just my opinion. But you know what? I'm just rambling on. Thanks guys once again for liking my video. And I hope to see you guys soon for the next one. I don't know what is coming up, but I hope it's going to be great. All right. Once again, thank you. And this is the Big Dog Rick Dog signing off. <music>